fat and health. Of course it is. What's in the box? Fat and you health. You can be fat and be healthy. I'm sorry, Lizzo, healthier than I will ever be. Healthier than I will be. Shut up. Let me educate you, pumpkin, because you're clearly, clearly uneducated on the subject. Whoa, For cocaine's a hell of a drug. My God. My God. I don't know much about makeup, but I know she needs some. Uh, a lot, like a mask or something. All right, so this is a response to a question that you could barely read on the screen, but I got your back. It says, fat phobia doesn't exist. No one is afraid of you for your poor diet and exercise choices. <laughs> Keep pretending to be a victim instead of working on yourself. Yo, based as fuck. Can we get some biceps and gorillas for whomever wrote that comment? I'm going to buy that gentleman or gentlewoman at stake. All right, talk about a fucking winner. That was based as fuck. So this girl, it thing, I don't know if there's a plural amount of people in her mind, uh, but she definitely is, uh, she's definitely hyped up. So that was based as fuck. So this video is in response to that comment, which is, I think from, if I read that correctly, I agree hundred percent. So let's see how she tries to justify um, facts. Let me educate you, pumpkin, because you're clearly, clearly uneducated on the subject. First of all, fat does not equal unhealthy. I weigh 260 pounds. I Whoa! Einhorn Holy is shit. Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. That's a huge bitch. 260 pounds. Can someone tell me how tall a woman has to be for 260 pounds to not make you look obese? Probably what, like six, six for a woman, right? If you, you probably have to be six, six to be 260 and not look fat. Holy shit balls. All right, let's do that again. I want to hear her t say how big she is again. Not equal and healthy. I weigh 260 pounds. I'm a size 2X and I kickbox. I do yoga. I do aerial yoga. I dance. I get in. Aerial yoga. Man, props to that general contractor. Let's get a round of applause. That shit better be up to code. <laughs> that shit better be up to code. Holy fucking hell. All right, let's do this. At least 30 minutes of cardio every day. That's not normal. What's your I strength like? train. I am strong and my body is getting healthier every day. Yeah, something's amiss, don't you think, fam? Something's amiss. You're not just obese for no fucking reason. She's probably not going to tell us the real shit going on, but it's not possible. You're doing either. She's doing all that stuff. Look at her bags under her eyes. She's not eating properly. She's probably a fucking vegan the way she looks. Uh, she's not sleeping well. There's other stuff going on. I I'm not expecting to like get the actual answers here, but come on now. Come on. Bullshit. Bullshit. So your assumptions about big people affect me. And so that's your problem. I'm stopping this whenever she says something stupid. That's why we stop it so often. Assumptions about big people affect you. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? That's your fault. <laughs> I can call you a poo poo wee wee head. If that affects you, whose fault is that? That's your fault. Uh, and just to talk to a, a comment that popped up, Mark, a vegan of that size. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. Vegans can be obese as shit because they just don't eat any quality nutrition. They're eating tons of carbs and processed foods. Oh yeah. Vegan cookies, bro. Oh, vegans are super unhealthy. Either you're emaciated or you're obese. Oh, for sure. Everyone knows a fat vegan. Everyone knows a fat vegan. All right, here we go. So I'm mad. Fat phobia is actually a term what? about big people affect me. And so I'm mad. Fat phobia Ooh. is actually a term that illustrates diet cultures brainwashing of our entire society that skinny equals good fat equals bad skinny equals healthy fat equals unhealthy which is not true it's skinny doesn't necessarily mean healthy but fat definitely means unhealthy fat definitely means unhealthy skinny I, fuck skinny be swole be muscular be lean be be like capable but you could be anorexic you could be a crackhead you could have cancer you could be unhealthy but not everything is let's, let's continue this is ridiculous scientifically not true right, look at her teeth all right look Really healthy teeth there. Looking good. Looking good. Now, you know, not everyone has dental plans and stuff like that, but what's her nutrition like? She has bag. I'm telling you, she looks like she's a vegan. She looks mal malnourished and her hair doesn't look well. Her skin 
her na- her I don't know her nails, her skin, her teeth, and her hair look really fra- like frazzled. It looks like she's a vegan. I'm serious. Typically not true. And by the way, I'm pausing again. Notice how she hasn't said anything about her nutrition. She talked about how she fucking kickboxes. Okay, great. I used to I used to run a kickboxing gym. You know how many fucking fat people kickbox? Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything when you kickbox and eat cake. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh my God, you mean just doing cardio doesn't work? Yeah. Oh, and I lift weights. I strength train. How often? L- listen to all the things that she said that she does. How often do you do all those things? Yeah, do you strength train once a week and then do yoga, do all this other stuff? Yeah, okay, fuck you, bullshit. Ditch all that shit and do strength training and eat better food and get off the TikToks, messing with your brain. I'm not a victim. I've saved my life more times than you could count. I've recovered from eating disorders and I'm healthy. Not mentally healthy. Yeah. You haven't, you've recovered from eating disorders. Not yet. So this is bullshit. Fat phobia is rooted in racism. Diet. Oh, no. She did it. No. Oh, she did it. Another example of cake gender would be if someone feels like they have different layers oh, or flavors. No. To what the hell kind gender. of country is this where I can only hate a man oh, if he's white? She pulled out racism. Yo. There it is. The racism. Oh. Look, this is what you say when you have no, she's, she hasn't made one argument. Notice how she hasn't mentioned anything that's really, she hasn't mentioned sleep. She hasn't mentioned food. What are you eating? What are you eating? It's rooted in racism. Diet culture is a scam. Oh, okay. All right. Round of applause. You'll <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, a big old fucking nothing burger. Remember all the things that she said that she does? I kickbox, I do yoga, and this. A lot of people do a lot of things. You can't do that, have constant inflammation because you're not sleeping, you're eating garbage, you're constantly stressed out, cortisol levels are through the roof, you're covering your body in endocrine disruptors, you're like, what the fuck, microwaving plastic? Who the fuck knows what she's doing? All right, she lists all those little buzzwords. Oh, you do kickboxing. Fuck, you know how many fat people do yoga? You know how many fat people kickbox? You know how many fat people are in the fucking gym? You lift weights. Yeah, people go there to get in better shape. Doesn't mean they're all successful. There's so many fat people in the gym because they're trying to lose weight, but they're not doing it right because they're not doing all the things that are important, like all the seven pillars. Uh, You do cardio. Great. You do cardio. Fantastic. Cardio has failed for more people than anything else in the fucking world. It doesn't mean it's bad for you. It's just, you know... It doesn't increase your metabolic rate. It's your body adapts to it. I mean, how often do you see someone who's fat on a fucking treadmill all the time? Oh, 